Well, we just got the Q2 GDP data in India, and we, we, we got a reasonable sense that consumption is going to come back. In fact, consumption grew above GDP for the first time in, in a while, and uh, th that's something that is uh, pretty uh, optimistic for us to, 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 take, to look at. And, uh, you know, we expect that in the medium term, India's GDP growth rate will be underpinned by recovering consumption. But over the long period, over the long run, we expect uh, global, globally, external demand for India would also recover. This is because interest rate cuts are coming uh, globally with the Fed joining forces uh, from, from the next week onwards. That's right. I mean, as far as India falling, the financial year is concerned, Q1 GDP, uh, as, as per India's financial year, came in at a 15-month low of 6.7%. But I do want to understand from you, uh, you know, do you think that growth is at that stage where the RBI can think of cutting rates to spur economic activity because inflation has been trending lower and below the RBI's comfort zone? Well, that's a pretty difficult thing to actually uh, make, an, make, make an educated guess about. We do not expect that uh, the RBI will start cutting rates in, in as soon as October, but there is a reasonable expectation that we have that at least the guidance could uh, start turning a little dovish. Um, um, and RBI is one of the two central banks globally with, with that exception of uh, coming in a little uh, more hawkish than, than you know typically expected globally. The other one being the Reserve Bank of Australia. Right. I also want to get a quick sense from you on how you're looking at, uh, Krishna, just the overall uh, you know, environment when it comes uh, to domestic demand in India, get, getting into the festive season. How much of that can do the heavy lifting for growth to come in at 7% plus for the year? Well, it's, uh, it's a reasonable expectation to have that the festive season will actually help consumption recover a little above expectations um, uh, because consumption is typically um, uh, coming, has come in stronger than expected in the last few years around the same season. Um, this is also uh, going to be uh, having a bit of a bearing on how the RBI might take things forward because uh, it, is, it is a little bit of a difficult thing to have uh, pretty strong consumption driving growth without a uh, spiking in inflation. But uh, as things stand, inflation is actually coming in uh, well within the RBI's comfort zone of under 4%, but that's, that's broadly uh, mostly been because of uh, a favorable base effects, uh, which might change as we might we go ahead in the future. When do you expect the uh, RBI to cut rates, Krishna? Well, it's a difficult thing to forecast, but uh, we do not expect that the RBI will start cutting rates in the in the in the ne in the next few months. But uh, uh, it's it's perhaps a reasonable expectation to have that uh, the RBI will only join global central banks in cutting, if not soon, but you know, a little while later.